What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to pick off where we left off, this Italian army we sent charging down through into Russian territory has been intercepted by a number of Russian armies. And the uh, What we'd like to see, which I think we will see, is that by winning this battle we will then repel all of these armies southwest, leaving Petrovskaya open to be captured by our forces. So let's destroy them. So I think, yeah, I think the, the prevailing strategy to push around or to clear out the north of Russia and then drive south is a good one because then it helps provide a bit more support for our troops to the south in Egypt, which we've really not done a whole lot with. But I think it's important that we do, uh, that we do beef up their strength and push them forward. So terrain's a bit undulating, so let's Hmm. So there's a rise there that's a bit difficult to clear. So the highest bit of ground we have really is this piece of woodland here. So let's deploy We'll have two sets of uh Two sets of artillery waiting. Let's take our infantry and have them deployed out front and centre. Let's have a set of guns to also. I want to try and. Well, I want to try and want to try and advance up to that hill. Whether or not that we will be able to, I don't know. At least we've got. A very strong flanking component with our Swiss line infantry and some light infantry out out on the flanks to give them some support. But this is the what normally happens is uh, I deploy my armies like this, and then we end up looking we end up looking backwards and going, okay. Let's see, well, let's see where the reinforcements come in. So my other gunners. Let's attempt, let's attempt to push up. Because their reinforcements are coming in to the rear. The howitzers can fire quick line, that's okay. The flank of infantry there. It looks like they're focusing on my cuirassier on the flank. Okay. Cavalry move up first. Okay. You guys carry on doing what you're doing. Okay, they're firing shrapnel. Come on. I wanted these guys to have to charge the Dragoons prior, I mean, it means we're going to kill some of our men here from charges. Set, <clears throat> set our cavalry to run. Yeah, these men had to stop. Then my Jaegers. My general's been killed from a <laughs> an extremely lucky cannonball. Okay, 
these dragoons not everybody concerned about. My cavalry can get out of the way. Looks like we are opening up. Frustratingly, it seems to have. Okay, deploy. I was about to say deploy into square, but don't worry about that. Okay, so my guns open up way, way back. My right flank move up. My crossiers come in aggressively to clear out that section of line. My artillery still moving up. I'll knock out the 78th and advance to consolidate my position on the hill. These guys are being mowed down by my infantry. The 78th should break in short order. The Cossacks are charging in with General's bodyguard. Okay, they are going to charge. No, they aren't going to charge. Friendly fire, quick climb, not quite going to plan. Okay, now you have to deploy into square. Square formation for days. Let's get this cavalry back to hit their artillery. Get these crassiers over here. If so be, I'd be surprised if the light horse didn't hit my mountain jaegers, but whatever, I'll take it. You guys are limber. As long as the 135th hold the square. I mean, they are fighting infantry, but once we've cleared out this flank, we should be able to deal with their bayonet charges in short order. So you men charge up. Charge the crossiers in. Let's run my light dragoons up. Not my light dragoons, my infantry up. Let's see if I can get some square formation. Oh, the back of that unit's getting hit by my fire by rank. Let's switch to round shot. Actually, don't switch for anything. Let's limber up again. Get my heavy cavalry to charge the Siberian hunters. My plan was to move them up, run them up so they could deploy in, deploy uh, stakes. So they're going to be, they are lost, understandably. New men form up here, you guys cast a shot that unit of line, spin your guns around. They're engaging the guns at long range and they are doing good work. Okay, let's charge these crassiers onwards into the 25th. They probably won't like it when these guys... Yeah, there you go, they've already limbered up and decided they didn't want any part of that. Who are you? Light Horse, Cossack, Cossack Infantry. You guys hit that unit of Cossacks. Okay, let's take these guys and my. No, that's too many. Two units fill up this side 
of that feature, Yumen sans the cuirassier form up at the bottom of this hill, ready to push over the top. Yumen should be able to deal with the 34th light horse, my general's bodyguard. Intercept that light cavalry. You will likely not be on your own for long. My howitzers move up. So my cuirassiers could do with being brought back here. Limber out of that unit of guns, you guys switch to shrapnel shot. Aim at the regiment of militia coming up. So the light Cossacks, the light horse, the Cossack light horse have routed. Let's try and hit the 13th. They too have broken, so let's take our cavalry and form up again. Our round, shot, our round shot's doing good work. You men run. Okay, form square. There we go. So they routed as well. This artillery ideally come up over here. So we've got some militia to chase down. You guys hit the 79th with canister shot. There we go, let's spread these men out the way God intended. You guys are currently holding the fort against the 79th, but really steadying the flank. Here comes the militia, they, they are Coming back, so bring my cuirassier and my general's bodyguard back into the mix. Human Bane at charge the militia, that cuirassier unit tag that regiment of horse. The Swiss line push around to the rear of that militia unit. You also hit them. There we go. Now charge into the rear. Yeah, some of my Swiss infantry is upset, but they should become increasingly upset. If they don't fail. Okay, my characters need to set up to do more to do more stuff quickly. You guys are opening up on the 30th, aren't you? You are. General, go knock out that regiment of horse artillery. You may limber up, or unlimber. Ooh. I don't quite know why you guys haven't positioned yourselves correctly, but never mind. You guys try hit. Okay, I was about to say try hit. The militia there, but that's now no longer necessary. Get out of the way, avoid the combat with your subordinates spin you guys around to engage the line infantry as well you men storm up to the top of this ridge line oh, quick climb showing it can be a fickle mistress time for danger close quick climb
pick some new quick climb targets that would be very good targets. You guys smash into the back of that line infantry. You men are going to fire into the back of the combat. Bring up some men around to the rear. So the thing to remember about the Russians is that they are fundamentally good infantry. But at point blank range, we should have the firepower needed to knock them out. If these guys can hurry up and wrap around the flank quicker as well. You men are going to be lost. You men chase on to the 34th. The 79th have been shattered. The 112th are now in position. Ah, oh, Russian infantry man, it's doing well. We need to break the rest of them. So my general is going to charge down the 125th because they've got no men left. So I can't... Well, they've got loads of men left, rather. So it would be... You would expect them to come back from routing. And because we don't want them to do that, my general is going to chase them down. There we go. The Russians have been killed. Got one last unit that's currently withstanding us. Artillery is landing nearby. So everyone except. Okay. No, okay, I've done it the other way around. Damn right, I'm going to continue. You chase them down. My general has orders. Let's stop my artillery from firing. You're going to chase down the 106th. Kill as many of the 125th as you can. The third, doing a number on the 106th. So my general can now move on to try and get the 106th as well but they will likely rout 41 left remaining cut that down to 20 20 odd you may advance just to make sure that they don't get charged down and killed by their own side all the other routing stuff is except for that artillery is mine I was fairly sure that there was no one left. But I guess there was. Ah, and they're going to route in good order as well. Unless you fire in some Hail Mary shots from long range. Oh, we got them! Because <laughs> that's why they're now dead. Cool. Okay. That's why artillery moving in as one coherent unit is is dangerous. Okay, so what are we short on? Oh, general, that's why. So they've been killed. They've been pushed back. As have they. And as have that last unit. Petrovskaya is open for business. Those men are going to get chased down. Well, they can't get chased down by all my Dragoons, because I don't actually have many. If they're not Bavaria, I will deal with you. Maybe in the next episode, because the next one after this is an hour special, I believe. Percussion shells. Okay, so Brestitovsk. Officially no need for you, because there are now only three technologies to research. Okie dokie, let's just do some up 
upgrades actually first. We'll let make sure we do get a new general. Guglielmo Zaccaria or Zachariah. Demand the surrender of the region. Because they have no garrison. Let's build walls. The roads are still tip top. Oh, you men are combining, aren't you? That's what's happening. You're on your way down towards Kazan. You're building up a small army to go take Ufa. I can't yet take take a bunch of these Dragoons out. Well, actually, they're only light infantry. <laughs> Obviously, they're still free to roam. I just want to make sure I don't lose Crimea. This small army here can chase down and hit the remaining men of that army there. To be honest, you... In a few turns... Well, actually, I've got you guys being recruited. Two turns! You might be ready to hit Chakask. Because right now... We still have Britain acting acting as a bit of a bulwark against our our enemies to the south. So right now it's a real Mexican standoff here because no one wants to no one wants to be the one that attacks. Everyone wants to be the defenders. A whole lot of replenishing to do. And you can't recruit anything because everyone's or everything's damaged. Move you north just to make sure you block these guys if they attempt to go west. You guys are still replenishing before hopping over to hit Riga. Bearing in mind there is a whole bunch of troops up here. You're going to wait for reinforcements. I'm going to do a bit of a widespread repair on our stuff. We're going to send the Union of Western European Infantry down to, um, to kick the Russian fleet out of Malmo. There we go. Okay. So I want them to replenish before they march on the Russians there. I don't know why they'd got a dry dock all the way back here, but okay. Archangelsk is... They're being converted at a steady rate. I mean... Pff, I'm going to go for Moscow, because look at it, they've left us a clean run, really, to go for it. <laughs> they... <laughs> yeah, I'd be mad. Oh, one thing I might want to do is run around to here. So when... Oh, that's even better. I was... So I came over here to make sure that the reinforcements wouldn't come in behind me, but now, pff, there aren't any reinforcements. Well... Let's take Moscow. If they're going to leave us uh, that route to take, then that's exactly what the AI would do in my position. If I left a, a highway free for them to go straight to my capital and take it, they would do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to do them in the honour of uh, taking up the opportunity. Okay. Even got percussion, sh percussive shells, which I've, I've never really been, uh, been a big fan of, really. Um, I mean, I'll try it out because I may as well. Good. Nothing to see here. Just a bunch of infantry. I'm gonna keep the cavalry with me. 
three man, shoot your way in. No. You guys shoot your way in. I mean, they've done all right. Stop the cavalry from trotting up to the walls. I mean, I've. Hmm. The great thing about quick climb is that even a near miss is still effective because the the radius of action is so large, or the radius of effect. Got a bunch of mortars. But we're going to blow our way into Moscow, and that's going to be pretty cool. And we're going to storm our way in and take the city. And the quickline, some of it, should miss and kill this militia to the rear. Or maybe not. Well, one of them is going to attack this militia unit. Let's speed up time, because right now we are... I mean, it looks like it's a bit... It's being a bit buggy. Let's make sure we do get into the city. No, don't go back up the ladders. Stay here to be quick climbed to death. You fools. Imagine you're a Russian soldier watching all this. Yeah, they caught the corner of the militia. More like it. Mostly killed men trying to climb the wall, but alright. See, I bet they've all stopped again. Yeah, look. Even though I've, even though they've got an order, sometimes they just decide, oh okay, we've done that. So they've rolled up. They're reloading. See, they've stopped as well. It's strange why I decide sometimes sometimes the gunners are going to do it, but sometimes they don't. Good God. Yeah, the 3rd Regiment did not like that at all. But it looks like we're going to have to do a bit of babysitting on our gunners to make sure they carry on doing the right things, because they'll always reload afterwards, so you can't even guarantee... You can't even look and go, oh, okay, they're reloading, that means they're going to fire, because that's not necessarily true. Fear not. Once we've got our way in, that's it. We're off. Because you've got so many... You've got so much, so much infantry in such tight uh, confines, in a tight space. Over here, I am going to want to attack after they fired to make sure that the the first vo the first shot at least is fired. Well, we get the maximum amount of time before they can be engaged. Like now. couldn't do. It's not a terrible idea to probably spread them up a bit more from that. The Cassiers are going in. But yeah, like look, every time like look, they're drawn to the breach like helpless iron filings. Artillery attack ground at the breach. Okay, they're, they're deciding to pick their own targets. Here's some quicklime coming in. That's going to be bad. They're not too bad, actually. So you climb up there. You climb there. You climb, climb there. You two guys hunker down and wait.
So then you guys are going to hunker down here, wait for these units to capture the gatehouse, and then they're going to pour in. You men, you men hold fire. Switch to round shot. Engage the artillery to the rear. Let's get our cavalry over on the left. Mm -hmm. He's going to form the column and they're going to charge in. Slowly feed the troops in. They got hit by quick climb, but at least it's rather these guys climbing the wall than these units sat outside. As soon as the first guy sets foot, charge the militia. New men charge the garrison line. You men charge off the wall and run straight down. Looks like we have to do a bit of fighting before the wall is ours. But the militia won't want to uh, continue that rate of loss for very long. Just set these guys to just charge the mortars because they're so. They're just mortars anyway, so there's no harm in just telling them, eh, run straight for it. Can you guys knock out that unit of provincial line before that potentially causes some problems? being resolute they do not want to give up the give up the wall but it looks like it's not going to cause us too many problems there's only 12 of them left There we go, my guards, my stripy guardsmen. Engage the Russians on the field. This line of infantry is still hacking its way through. Only one militiaman left. Okay, now there's none. So it's just that unit to the right that's contesting the entire gatehouse. I see. There we go, that's more like it. There we go, everyone run in. You guys charge that artillery unit, everyone else is going to be storming through the gate. Brave Marines first, followed by my line infantry. Everyone is ready. And these units are now starting to try and uh, wander through the main breach. Everyone's just charging. Because that Provincial Lion Infantry is uh, no longer a full regiment. Nah, you're not going to get many quick climb launches now, Buster. 
Charge! There's four men in this unit. General's been killed. Everyone kill this last guy. There he is. He's there gonna go on. Who wants to go? Oh no, he's routing. I didn't see who it was that got him. But they definitely weren't just gonna let him go. Sweet. Heroic victory, and Moscow is ours. Silly Russians. Seven, nearly 700 men. So we have to be a bit careful about holding on to it now. Obviously they really don't like us, but one thing we can definitely help, we can definitely do to help us in that regard is destroy the modern university. Try destroy the seminary. Get everyone replenishing. I should really have. Agent. I meant to try getting him to kill that guy. Oh well. Let's push you guys down towards this area. Are you nearly f you're nearly full. when you are nearly full you can start to push out and clear out some of these areas you might even go west because that's where a lot of our demand is going to be two full armies here I'll only need, only need one for Corsica so you Romano Balbi congratulations you're being shipped off to the Middle East you're going to land straight at Alexandria. Then we're going to use you. We're going to use you to hit this force here. Once you guys are... Ah, okay, you can have... Two units of African lights. Cavalry is a bit surplus for requirements. But that's full strength army. Actually, I might use this army to hit them. And then I've got these full strength ones to push on and push up to where the Suez Canal is going to be. Build a church school. Um, but. Oh, actually, hold on. Where are you? No, you're not in position yet, are you? Can you leave Prague? You can. You're going to deploy here as well. So Bavaria is blocked in. So when I make my attack, we will have overwhelming support. All this stuff's been done mostly. There we go. Okay, when they're in position, that's when we can hit. We can hit the... Bavarian states, but let's take you guys and go hit Abdullah in Abdi. And I have to fight it because I don't want to draw in all these guys for. I don't want to draw in this army for depletion. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.